I'm Ed Birchinger, MIT's Institute Community and Equity Officer. It's my privilege to welcome you to this community dialogue responding to recent tragedies, to introduce the event, and to prepare you for the work ahead. I begin with a poem by Juan Felipe Herrera, Poet Laureate of the United States, called At the Crossroads, A Sudden American Poem. R.I.P. Philando Castile, Alton Sterling, Dallas police officers Lauren Ahrens, Michael Kroll, Michael J. Smith, Brent Thompson, and Patrick Zamaripa, and all their families, and to all those injured. Let us celebrate the lives of all as we reflect and pray and meditate on their brutal deaths, let us celebrate those who marched at night and who spoke of peace and chanted Black Lives Matter. Let us celebrate the officers dressed in blues, ready to protect. Let us know the departed as we did not know them before, their faces, bodies, names, what they loved, their words, the stories they often spoke. Before we return to the usual business of our days, let us know their lives intimately. Let us take this moment and, as impossible as this may sound, let us find the beauty in their lives in the midst of their sudden and never imagined vanishing. Let us consider the Dallas shooter. What made him? What happened in Afghanistan? What flames burned inside? Who was that man in Baton Rouge with the red shirt selling CDs in the parking lot? Who was that man in Minnesota toppled on the car seat with a perforated arm? And a continent-shaped flood of blood on his white tee, who was that man prone and gone by the night pillar of El Camino, El Central College in Dallas. This could be the first step in the new evaluation of our society. This could be the first step of all of our lives. This is why we are here. We were invited by President Reif, who sends his regrets that he cannot be present because of international travel. But many of MIT's senior leaders are here, including Provost Marty Schmidt and Chancellor Cindy Barnhart. We are here in answer to President Reif's call when he wrote, I believe our leading civic institutions have a responsibility to speak clearly against these corrosive forces and to act practically to inspire and create positive change. In this time of need, the MIT community has an opportunity to offer service of great value to our society, to our country, and perhaps to the world by applying our unique strengths to the problem at hand. But we are also here because of our individual cries of pain, pangs of fear, and desire for peace and healing. MIT prides itself on its mind and hand. Today, we are exercising our heart. Our goal today is not to solve a problem. This event is not about solutions. We can't solve a problem we can't hear each other talking about. We can't solve a problem we can't hear each other talking about. First, we must listen to each other with our whole hearts, to feel, to cry, to be held together. You will be uncomfortable today. If you're not uncomfortable, we're not growing. Stay with us. Take strength from our students who shared their vulnerability in the MIT admissions blogs. Read them and share them with your friends and family. Take strength in knowing that everyone here, faculty, summer students, alumni, MIT police, support staff, Everyone is here to be together in a caring community. We care deeply, so deeply that it sometimes hurts. 
that is okay. Pay attention now, here's the program. After the next speaker, you will focus on your table at a, at a group, as a group. Each table has a facilitator who is prepared to help work with everyone to address some questions of the heart. Your facilitator will present discussion ground rules we invite you to respect. You'll have until 1.20 p.m. to explore together. There's no question and answer to the whole group. We're in four different rooms. You will have a chance to send notes and recommendations to the organizers by writing them on index cards at each table. We will collect these and share a summary with the community by early fall. I want to give thanks to those who made this event possible, starting with President Reif, whose passionate call for a response to the killings last week has brought us together. Thank you to Ted Johnson and his big team at Institute Events and MIT Video Productions for pulling together a major event in one week. Thank you to the working group on support staff issues for their volunteers, and thank you to the many facilitators serving today. Thank you to Kurt Kohlenbrander, to Alice Johnson, Abigail Francis, and Latari Canty, Kester Barrow, Dianetta Creighton. Please join me in thanking them all. After this event, we invite you to a post-event time for prayer and reflection with Chaplain Andrew Innocent in room 491 upstairs, where you can decompress and contribute, if you wish, to an art project called Thoughts from the Heart. Now it is my pleasure to introduce MIT Area Director Kester Barrow of the Division of Student Life, who will offer some important framing of today's conversations. Mr. Barrow. <laughs> 